Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use CC Composite. The CC Composite effect. It can be used on text layers, shape layers, graphics, photos, videos. It basically makes a duplicate or a copy of whatever is on the original layer only it does so on the same layer. Now I'm going to add a few effects onto the text layer just so you can understand how the CC composite works. So I'll go to the effects and presets panel. I'm going to do a search for fill. I'll drag it on. I can just click on the eyedropper and select any color I want. Next, I'm going to add roughen edges. I'll drag that onto the text layer. And finally, I'll add turbulent displace, which will really exaggerate the effect here. I'm going to change the amount down to 10. And if you want to bring back a copy of the original text without needing to duplicate the text layer, well then you can use the CC composite effect. So I'll search for composite, C-O-M-P-O-S-I-T-E. I'll drag it onto the same text layer. I'm going to uncheck this box right here, RGB only. So now we have the original orange text layer that has no effects on it. And every effect that is above the CC composite, that is all being made on a virtual copy of the original. So watch if I crank up this turbulent displace, you see it is only affecting the copy. It is not affecting the original. So if I was to drag CC composite above the turbulent displace, you'll see now the original has turbulent displace added to it. If I drag it above rough and edges, now the original has the rough and edges, but as soon as I bring it down to the bottom, now I have that original crisp text. I'll finish this example with a practical use case. So I'll go to effects and presets and I'm going to search for transform. I'll drag the transform effect onto the text layer, and then I'm going to drag transform to the top. I'm going to change the position so I can create a faux 3D effect using the copy. Then I'm going to press option or alt and I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to position and I'm going to enter in the expression wiggle. W-I-G-G-L-E, open and close parentheses. I'm just going to use 10 comma 1. So now I've got a little wiggle, the faux 3D effect, rough and edges, color fill, turbulent displace. It's still editable text. And because it's on one layer, I can actually just save all these effects as an animation preset. So I'll select them, go to save animation preset. I'm going to call it CC comp. Now anytime I'm in After Effects, I can add some new text, for example. Go up to the Effects and Presets. I'll do a search for CC Comp. There's that user preset we just saved. Drag it on. Just like that, I have the same effects. I can make any changes as needed. Here's another example. I just have one logo layer. I added a bunch of effects on top of it. Fill, glow, rough and edges. I added the transform effect. And I brought back the original using CC Composite, unchecked RGB only. And another real power of the CC composite, you have all of these blend modes to experiment with. So you can really get some unique looks by just blending the original onto any effects that you add. That did not even scratch the surface of the power of the CC composite effect, but it is a great effect to know and to have in your After Effects toolbox. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.